Hello, Road and Country here. I am at the Paducah show, uh, December 2nd and 3rd, and just wanted to shoot a quick video of the setup. Um, I don't have as many supplies as I normally would since uh, ending the end of the year right now. Uh, so coming this spring, the first show is going to be, I believe, in uh, February in Jackson, Tennessee. And then the week after that will be in Murfreesboro. And I intend on having a whole lot more supplies uh, at that point. Um, I've got a few rat manor cages for sale. And some of the tanks uh, with the full setups. I've got some dormice food and enrichment food. Um, here we've got the dormice. Let's see here. There's some of the dormice. These are the girls. here and here are the boys and let's see where it okay. there's the boys hi babies there's a little baby there's a little babies so if you're looking for dormice I've got these are all little babies Here. These are going to be the female rats. Hi, girls. Hi, babies. Hi, sweethearts. Hi, babies. Oh, it's a What are these? Rats? Right. Yep, they're rats. I thought so. God. So these are all female rats. Okay. And then we're going to move along. And we have the male rats over here. Hey boys. My big guys. Hi boys. Over here are um, the female werewolf rats, and then the haired ones are the carriers. So they're just starting to uh, get their fuzz in. They had already done their shedding, so you can see now the coat starting to come in. I've got three girls, and then I've got two, um, come here, sweetheart, oh my goodness, let me catch you, what are you doing, you want to jump around, okay, so these are the three girls, and then the haired ones right here are the carrier males, Good job, girls, move you out of the way, okay, and then over here, are the dwarf rats. These guys are about 10 weeks old now. Hi babies. Oh my goodness, there's mama. There's mama. Yeah. So I have both pink-eyed Martin and I have the Dark-eyed Martin. You guys are so silly. And uh, I have both boys and girls in here. Oh, you guys are getting so hyper. You guys are getting so hyper. Okay. And moving 
right along. Uh, I had some button quails here, but they all got sold. The diamond doves I'm bringing home, I actually picked those up today. And then we have this uh, double coordination here. Um, and basically it's being sold with everything you see in it. Um, I have four female rats that are all eight months or less in here. Um, I don't know if you can really see her in there. If you can see her, there's a, um, there's two hairless girls in here. Oh, there she's kind of popping her head out. Hi, babies. There's two hairless females in there. And let's see where, where's the other girls. And then there's two haired girls in there. I don't know if they're all in there. Oh, there they are. There you go. You can see them up here. So, and so basically the girls and the double critter with everything you see here. Um, and this is what I'm asking right now for them. All right, and then moving along, we've got fancy mice. There's a good selection of the different fancy mice here. And I do have the show mice uh, here. Um, so these are fairly young still. Uh, here's a blue. And then I do have dominant hairless, which is the one on the right there. Um, I have Abyssinian. This is an Abyssinian. And then I do have Angoras as well and so as you can see there's I do have a good selection of all the different types here so if you're looking at getting into show mice uh, the show mice lines that I do have uh, were imported originally from Switzerland and I believe New Zealand as well so uh, and these are going to get fairly large um, and they are um, extremely uh, come here, baby. Let me catch you. Uh, they're very, very chill. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. I know. I see you. I know. I see you too. You're a good, what a good boy. Okay, and then moving along with the guinea pigs. So I'm running special on guinea pigs right now. Uh, since I, there's going to be a few months before the next shows start up again. Um, these two are uh, Lancarias uh, boys. They're a bonded pair. Um, they are around 10 months old right now. And uh, you can see this is what I'm asking for them at this point. And then I have these two girls. Uh, the silver is an American uh, short hair. And then I have a dark eyed uh, white crested, uh, which is uh, out of um, silver lines. And let's see here. And then the, the female guinea pigs, they're on sale also. And then here we have the boys. These these all have been together, so they're bonded, uh, so they can go in pairs or whichever. Um, so as you can see, I have a dark-eyed white um, crested out of a silver line. Um, here's another crested here, another silver crested. Uh, this is a uh, Dutch blue, short hair. And this is a cream. Um, he's out of my Californians, so he's actually uh, chocolate pointed, but it's just very, very light. And then I have the silver and white Lancaria. Um, 
he did get a little bit of a bite uh, earlier on his butt there. That's what he, th I had added the, the little babies right here just got added in uh, the other night and I think there was a, uh, a new pecking order that was being established and so it appears somebody had a discussion and so he did get a little bit of a bite there but it's nothing, nothing serious. And then this little baby here, he was just weaned, um, let's see here, yeah. Come here, buddy. Yeah. And this one, he, I just weaned him, so he's right at about three weeks old. So these are all the boys, and so here, this is the price that I have them at currently. Um, all right, so here are the uh, male hairless skinnies, guinea pigs. Um, I have some real nice Himalayans and Dalmatian, uh, some uh, tortoiseshells and uh, pink eyed white. So just a, a variety of colors. Uh, these are all uh, the boys. They're a little bit cold right now because I'm at the expo and uh, it's a little chilly in here. So, okay. And then uh, this is what I got going on for them. So good, good pricing on everything right now. Just trying to downsize for the winter. Um, here are the girls. Um, so here we have a tortoiseshell GSW here, and then. Uh, we do have Dalmatian and again a nice Himalayan here. She's actually the sister to the male. And uh, so, and I believe the two, you can see that this one right here on the corner is actually a werewolf, and this one is also would be considered a werewolf. Um, okay, and then this is. What I got going on on them, and then over here, um, these teddies are about a year old. They are all boys. Um, they are bonded, so uh, they need to go in pairs, if not all four together. Uh, so I have a nice orange here, uh, dark silver. And then here's a chocolate. Uh, this one is a chocolate silver. And this is another. This is another chocolate silver right here. Very pretty colors. Um, I'm actually getting out of the teddies. I'm trying to downsize on guinea pigs. Uh, focus more on the rats. Uh, so at this time, I think I'm going to focus more on my uh, my Kui guinea pigs, uh, which are, those are the really large ones uh, from Peru. And I'm also going to continue on the silver crested. Um, I, I really like the silver jeans, so I'm going to continue on the silver crested. Um, I am looking. So this is the price on these guys, by the way. And I am looking to uh, potentially. Uh, sell my entire line of imported Luncarias. Uh, so if you're wanting to get into breeding or whatever, um, I, you know, going to cut a pretty good deal on. Uh, I believe I had three boars and somewhere around probably 10 or 12 females um, that I'll be looking to uh, sell to someone who is uh, interested in getting into breeding lung carrier or, or is already breeding lung carriers. Uh, so definitely hit me up if that's something that you might be looking for. So yeah, so this is this is everything. So if you know if you have any questions on anything just just let me know and shoot me a message or you can text me and just to give you an overall shot of the expo. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.